On 15th March, Deputy Speaker of Parliament Jacob Olanya directed the Parliamentary Committee on Rules, Discipline and Privileges to investigate the disagreement between Speaker Rebecca Kadaga and State Minister for Lands Passes in Namuganza. Kadaga, who is the Kamuli woman MP, openly rebuked Namuganza after presiding over the swearing in ceremony of chiefs in Habukono constituency in Namutumba district. <laughs> <laughs> Namuganza, a princess from Bokono chiefdom, opposed the installation of new leaders whose legitimacy she questioned, arguing that they were not from the chiefdom lineage. Everybody in Busoga is wondering what is her interest, what does she want to do with the royal issues. That's why even in my submission, I stated that let the issues of royals be handled by royals. In this matter, whether the committee tasked to investigate the matter interfaced with several leaders, including Namuganza herself, NRM Vice Chairperson for Eastern Region Mike Mukula, Namutumba District Woman MP Mariam Naigaga, among others. Mukula called for dialogue, saying the committee was in a tricky situation since Kadaga was the head of parliament. In order to save the image of the speaker, in order not to re escalate the matter, that he allow the party and the president to address this issue. The committee also met Kadaga in camera. One, Mr. Chairman. Several months later, the committee has produced a report implicating Namuganza. She was found to have made grave, reckless and unsubstantiated statements that undermine the dignity of Speaker Kadaga and the integrity of Parliament and its members. We had a meeting yesterday to finalize the outlook of the report. And uh, I think it won't be long before we present you on the program. The report also faults Namuganza for inciting the public against Kadaga and the Chabazingo of Busoga William Gabulan Nadiope. The committee's decision is based on Namuganza's admission that she spoke against Kadaga, yet she failed to produce video and audio evidence of Kadaga attacking her. Uh, what is factual that is on record is that she conceded to the utterances. And that's part of the objectives, the, the, the terms of reference of the committee. So whatever follows is, uh, is in the wisdom of the committee on what they think should follow. The report exonerates Kadaga for any wrongdoing. NTV tried to speak to Namuganza, who said she knew about the committee findings, but she did not want to comment on it. I can't. Why? I can't. But it's out and it's already... Yeah, I cannot. Yeah. I cannot, yes. Mm. I can't. The committee recommends that the committee of the whole house reprimand Namuganza with a deterring punishment to set a precedent. Our conduct outside the house, our conduct in the constituencies, our conduct out of the country, there are many, there are many areas we, that have been proposed in order to make things better, make our parliament better, uh, improve our conduct and our ways of, 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 of doing our own work. In 1998, Parliament censured ministers Sam Kutesa and Major General Jim Mwezi after they were implicated in conduct and becoming of ministers. However, President Seven later appointed them back to cabinet. If the committee of the whole house finds Namganza guilty, she's likely to be censured, suspended from the parliamentary sittings or lose part of her monthly emoluments for a given period of time. This report will now be tabled before the House next month when it comes out of recess. Habadziwa NTV, Kampala.